Sometimes you just need to tidy up your, um, this is my travel stitching kit. Okay, so that feels a bit better. All right, so I'm going to be using the black. Um, so this is, um, it's got six strands to it, the embroidery thread. So I need to just take one strand off. And I need a fine needle because I'm going to be adding beading. Okay, so I'm going to thread the needle first. And then the other thing I want to do is just apply some beeswax to the strand. Because I find that way then it doesn't get as tangled as it would normally Okay, so I've knotted the end. I've just got this slight just for craft projects. I mean, I think you can get it in a block. Um, but I only need like a pellet here. And I'm literally just going to run it along the length. Like so. Okay, so I'm thinking of adding the beading now. I've added um, as much stitching as I feel I wanted to. I had a little accident with some green paint. I was doing something else and uh, we've got some green paint here, but I can cover that up. Um, so I've got my bead beads here. I'm looking to use my bugle beads and um, so I've got my bead board, I don't use it in the traditional sense because I don't make uh, jewellery as such. Um, I just use it when I'm maybe thinking about particular beads to use. So I do like the bugle beads and I was looking at these, there's these um, orange ones here as well um, that might add some interesting um, an interesting feel and then I've got I mean I do have quite a lot of beads these are just a small selection but I was thinking these kind of brassy ones but on second thoughts no if I was doing uh, like a wall hanging I might use them and the rest of the beads here Hmm. Yeah, I would have to be doing like um, beads hanging down for this one. I've got these brown. Hmm, I like these. I'm not sure I've got enough. Just got a couple there. So we won't be using that. Oh. The rest of the mirror in here. Hmm. So I might use I like the look of these ones. It's some sort of shell. Hmm, so they might go at the bottom somewhere. There's a really small one there. A bigger one. Um, Alright, so we're going to get started for now. And just looking to see if there's any others. I've got these. They're black though. But I could do like alternate 
along here with the black and the brown and so that's what I do I just play around and see what I like the look of what I'm feeling use that to cover the green. Here's something like that and then I could go back on this side. And then I've got some black bugle beads as well. Um, They could be an alternate black and brown. Hmm. Okay, where's my tweezers? Oh, I could do that. like that. <laughs> I think that's all the um, brown ones we have. Oh no, there's one more. So if I put that there, so this is a cluster here. Then we've got four along here. two here, one there, and then I'll do the bugle beads with the black and the brown. Okay, so that's a plan. Um, the other thing, I'll bring this back. Um, I've got another little kind of, it's uh, amber color that I'll just use on the top of there. It's on the top of each one. Okay. So let me just take these out. So we've got three, three layers. Okay, so let us put this back. So I've got my, the black bugle beads. I've got the brown ones. We're gonna do around the edge first. Let me do this one first. Um, got my thread and I've got my fillers. Right, so I've knotted my thread and it's been waxed. Okay, so I'm just going to come up the middle of this. Three there. Actually, it needs to be higher. And then I'll use a black seed bead. And then all I'm going to do is go back through the hole. Um. 
like so. So I actually really like that, and uh, what I'm going to do now is just neaten up some of these stray bits around the edges. I need to get myself one of those um, smaller scissors, um, fancy ones. <laughs> um, okay, use this one. Okay, so I enjoyed that. Adding, um, it's, and I think it's the combination of looking, um, so getting to a, a specific point with your project, and then if you are somebody who adds beads and things like that, kind of going through your supply and looking to see which one fits. I mean, initially I was just going to go with the smaller bugle beads, um, but found in my B boxes, um, the black black bugle black bugle beads, which I think together they look nice. Um, and I think for me that is I I like I like this as is. I was I was thinking about the smaller beads I've got here, and is there somewhere where I can add them? But um, oh dear, <laughs> I'm thinking now, like adding like beads just in its the thorax, is it? So look, if I add beads here, that would be uh, so two in the top. and then fill up these bits. What I have to check first is that I've got enough beads to do that. Um, let's have a look. Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to put beads in there. I was just looking at this bit here on its tail and I've added seed, um, I've added French knot. So I'm thinking of maybe just adding French knots. As you can see, the French knots, I'm going to put one extra just there, just here. And uh, yeah, I like it. So I will give you a close up of it in a minute. Um, But these are nice little, you know, sometimes you have to have um, 
you have to have. Um, it's nice to be able to have small projects that you can then work on and as I said at the beginning I have um, a series of ones that are in with my threads so that if I just want to literally just stitch I can do that or, or practice a particular embroidery um, stitch and so now what I'm going to do is just take a look around and see if there's anything else I need to add I don't think so I think I, I like it feels finished for the for the moment anyway it feels finished um, I, I'm not feeling a need to oh let me add this here or let me add that there and as I said that <laughs> I was just thinking oh maybe I can add some French knots up here <laughs> isn't that funny um, yeah I'm just gonna add a series of French knots at the top yeah and then I'll give you a close-up of it okay how this turned out and I like the colours and um, even the beadings and uh, one thing I would recommend you do is to always be on the lookout for you know potentially beads and things like that that you can add to your collection so I hope you enjoyed that and um, this would be more likely to um, go into a sort of like a box frame, it doesn't have to be that um, big in terms of the, the depth um, but this will be nice framed and um, I'm going to sit with it for a bit before I decide whether to put it in my Etsy store or um, on my website we'll see I'm a little got these little ants every time I, I make a cup of tea <laughs> they come and join me it's just like they send out the call they only come when I've had a cup of tea I think um, they can smell the sugar and I've got uh, I had some rosemary in in mine um, uh, just black tea with rosemary and some almond milk but um, they seem to like that as well so it's just like they send out their scouts <laughs> <laughs> to wherever I've spilt a little bit but um so yeah I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to sharing the next project I'll show you what I've been uh, dabbling with so I've got this one so this is like one that's um I had worked on a while back so basically what I've done is I added gesso to some fabric and I've used a stencil and then I found an image so there's two people here one sitting here and one sitting behind I've not there this looks like a flat surface so this person may be reclining and this I think is a guy and um, they're just chilling so far anyway so I'm just allowing myself to um, so I'm doing the features I've lightly um, drawn some of the features here somebody else um, so another artist was, ask, was asking me if I kind of draw intuitively stitch which I do 
in uh, most of my pieces but then when I start seeing an image I will start seeing an image that's been formed by the paint that I lay down so then if like where I'd stitched it just happened to be and it was just like that's a face um, and then what I've gone in and done is I've lightly drawn out what I feel is um, like say the body and then I stitch round it and then the next stage was to add paint in those areas just to differentiate the figure's actual body so all of this was then added once I'd stitched onto the um, fabric so yeah I've just been adding some features to the face so maybe next week what we'll do is work on this or the alternative is the other um, wax resist piece that I did which is a, a bigger face um, but I'm going through a lot of my pieces as you saw last in the last Material Mondays you know there's loads of unfinished pieces so um, I'm just going for the one that I feel more connected with um, which one is speaking to me now so I'll go with it and this is the one that I've just been um, just in my spare moment you know if I'm sitting down or just chilling um, I, I started working on this I just wanted to even just get their features out and how their body is situated because I'm not sure what's going on here anyway so I hope you enjoyed that and um, yeah I look forward to seeing you next time so you take care okay bye